What do you want? Hello. Um, I came to see Gidika. Can I come in? Call me where? Does this place look like a relaxation center to you? So, why would I allow you to come in? What do you want, Biko? Gidika asked me to come here and see her. And if I arrive before her, I should wait for her. Did you hear me? Hey, Oga. How else will I tell you that? She does not want you. See, my friend has a very big, rich boyfriend that is planning to marry her. So please, my darling, leave her alone. It's not by force. It is not. I don't know what it is you have with me, but don't don't see that. Yeah, don't see that. I don't I don't know why you hate me so much. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, if anyone should tell me to sit or job or about boyfriend, it should be Ginika. I'm tired. Can I just come inside? Eh? Why, why do you hate me so much? Mm. Eh? I don't hate you. Did I say I hate you? I don't hate you. All I want you to do for me is leave my friend alone and stop spoiling things for me. I, I mean, for us, for us. Can I come in now and, and wait for her? No serious. Please get out. You call me out, smash you. Wait. Come on. And I be the teacher go drink water, see if I don't, I don't tire. Girls, I need to pay EJ my visit and I want you girls to accompany me. Hmm, good one. Are you ready now? So we can go. Anything for my princess. I'm at your back and call. What kind of visit do you want to pay to EJ and why? What kind of a stupid question is that? How can you be asking such questions? You just stress yourself. I'll give her the answer. Well, I want to pay her a visit because I want her to stop saying Ferdinand. I don't think that is necessary. I mean, you can't belittle yourself because of a man. Ferdinand is not just a man. He is more than a man. And I'm ready to do anything just to have him. Fighting your fellow woman over a man is not worth it. So you're not going with me? Yes, I can't do that. Hmm. See, my dignity must be protected. I cannot let myself that low. And I advise you, as my friend, not to let yourself low. What the heck? Keep your advice to yourself. Hey! The most beautiful woman of this kingdom. <laughs> the woman! The most beautiful woman of this land. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't like it. I mean, when will I ever come here and drive in without being interrupted? Very soon. Why must I horn and horn and horn? Yet you won't open the gate for me. Very soon. In a jiffy, we are almost there. When you will be allowed to park your car anywhere you like. Nobody will ask you to repark. Or if you like, you can even park your car in the parlor and nobody will save him. I am not comfortable with it, honestly. You can even throw. I don't who? like. Hold on. Don't be distracted. Let me know who the hoodlum is. The terrorist versus the robber that want to attack my boss. Just in a while. You know what? Why are you blocking the way? Should I drive in instead? Uh, uh, no, 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 don't drive in. You don't need to drive in. Just we, we then let me in. go inside. Uh, please, my princess, don't go inside. Inside will be too hot for you. You are a princess of this land, and the hotness will affect your soft skin. Eh? I, will, I will appreciate it if you tell me anything you want to tell me here and go. Let her come back. Wait, hold on. Did Ferdinand tell you not to let me in? Ferdinand traveled to Benin. It's not around. Yes, you can go. Just go. 
What are you talking about? Look, I already gave you a goat, and I have every right to push you aside and go in. I am a moving train, and nobody can stop me. Hey, my princess, my princess, hey, my princess, hey, no, no, hey. Hey, 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 do not, do not speak, do not. So this is it. This, this is. Hey, 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 hey! I said, do not utter a word. That is exactly what I just said. Keep mute. So this, this is it, right? Listen, Grace or whatever your name is called, Ferdinand is my man. He loves me a lot, and he has told me everything, virtually everything you've been doing. Reducing yourself, trying to seduce him. But well, he has been rejecting you. Even the get man already told me how you've been cheapening yourself, throwing yourself at him. My dear, can't you shamelessly give up? Can't you? Must you bring royalty to this level of ridicule with your classlessness? Must you? Gemma, ain't you an object of ridicule like this? Stop deceiving yourself. I already know the truth. This same security man already told me everything. I know that Ferdinand is not dating you. All you do is throw yourself cheaply at him, even when you know that he is not interested in you. He doesn't want you. And you believe that? Then you must be a big fool to have thoughts in this little head of yours, that Ferdinand, my man, would choose you over me. Never. Let me tell you, you are a low budget princess, chipping yourself, embarrassing royalty. What the hell? What do you think of yourself? Now, let me tell you something, dear. You can never measure up with me. We are not in the same class. Now, get this into your thick skull. Ferdinand is my man. My Man, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Firstly, I am a princess. Mm. And that's royalty flowing through her veins. That you can never have. Secondly, mm. I am proud. And I like it that way. Are you aware that he invited me over to spend the weekend with him and I said no? He's been calling and begging me to come spend the weekend with him at Abuja, but I refused. Hi, Auntie. I am only here because the king sent me on an errand. I am not cheap like you. Take your cheap, useless, naughty self out of my sight. Look at this insane entity. You think I'm here to banter wet with you? Oh no, you are no level of mine. Okotoligba, I'm out of here, please. Hey, Holly. Mm. Hey, where do you think wait, you're going? Where you going? Hey. Um, sweetheart, please can I see you in private? Ferdinand, please give me a minute. I did not allow them in. You know, you instructed me that as I'm doing my job, I should not lay a hand on any woman. I did not touch them. They are the one who pushed me outside and went against the rule of this presidency. Please permit me to handle two of them. Uh, that's okay, it's fine. They're here now, so it's okay. And go back to your post, I'll take it from you. Thank you, sir. I'm waiting for both of you. I will take you for both of you! No sir! Sir. Honey, please. Can you tell this thing here to excuse us? I want to talk with you. You must be shameless and stupid to say that. No! You are the one who is completely shameless, stupid, insensitive, annoying, and to crown it all, a low-budget princess. What do you think of yourself? What? You are the one who should be ashamed of yourself. Throwing yourself cheaply at a man who clearly doesn't want you. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Fool. Okay, at this point I'm really confused. What exactly is going on? Nothing is going on, my love. Just allow me to sort this prostitute out. 
<laughs> the whole village is aware that you sold yourself for money before your brother became rich. After being used by thousands of men in your village, you think you can trap Mr. Ferdinand with your decrepit body? That will never happen, not when I'm alive. And you must be a goat, a she-goat for that matter, to have said that. Do you, do you, look at this one. We all know that you're worse than a whore. That was how you slept with all your father's managers. Slept with all of them. Opened your legs shamelessly. Right, left, center, up and down. And that was why your father asked you never to step your miserable foot into his company. Princess, was that not why you were bad? Who on earth? is feeding this shameless prostitute with all these lies. And you must Ain't you an object of ridicule? Oh, you must be a fool! You must be very stupid to have said that they're all lies, because they're not. Look at you, talking back at me. When you are completely worn out, you are the one who has the decrepit body. You have the body and not me. Alright, that's, that's, that's enough. Fool! That's enough. Stupid and silly. You are the one who is stupid! DJ Man! I will kill you! Sorry, my love. Princess? My king. Listen. Will you get up from there? DJ Man! Get up! Hey! DJ Man! Get up! DJ Man! I don't call your name again. <laughs> Count yourself lucky. Baby, just okay. I hope you're happy now. You're happy. I hope you're happy now that your side chick is insulting me. For nothing. What am I doing to deserve this? Is it a crime to love you? Or am I asking for too much? Am I? Stop. You'll have to stop. For I'm very disappointed in you. Oh! Why would you belittle yourself like that? Oh, you blaming me? Was she not the one that started it? Were you not there? So I should have stood there and allowed her call me names? No! No! I had expected that you would be more mature. Mm -mm. But you could not ignore her. I am even more disappointed in you. To think that you have not learned anything from your brother Chifilo is very disappointing. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I can't hold myself when someone insults me and not to talk of that, that bitch. Language? Listen. Ijema. You caused this. If you didn't go for her, would she have, have, have the mouth to, to talk, talk to me? You caused it. If you continue like this, I'm going to stop you from coming here. You're going to stop me from coming here because of this retarded thing? Language? Oh, goodness! Ijemma! Oh. You know what? I think it would be a great idea for you to leave. You go. When you're much calmer, you let me know that I can invite you. I think it's the best thing because the environment is too hot for me. I can't even stay here. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Anything you want to see, I want you to know that I am not like that. I have, I have never fought any woman before. I have never dragged any man with any woman before. I'm only having fun doing it right now because I'm crushing on this particular man. Princess, I want you to know. Let that. me finish. Look, I've always loved this man. I've always wished to be by his side. Every day I go to his social media accounts just to know the latest about him. I watch the news hoping to see him. Every day I open my door wishing he would be standing in front of me with his charming smiles. I love this particular man and I don't regret doing anything just to be with him. And have you asked yourself if the one that you do all of this for would not like it? I know and I'm sorry. I know I must have annoyed you with my attitude, but I assure you, this will never happen again. It's fine then. But if, 
if I may ask, if if they say you should choose between Ijima and I, who will you choose and why? I have never really thought about it. But until then. My king, the man of my heart and dreams, the most handsome man in the entire universe. Take a good look at me. I am everything you want and everything you will ever need. I have royalty flowing through my veins. I'm educated, I'm classy, I'm well-traveled and exposed. You know, you could be the next president of this country and I will make the perfect first lady. No, 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 no! I will take this! I will certainly not take this. This is unacceptable. I have never been humiliated. Never have I. Never. Look at me. I have been here seeking his attention. And he was there begging that useless, low budget princess for her attention. How? And is she finer than me? Is she more intelligent than myself? Or is she sexier than me? I don't understand. No, no, no. This is the height of it. I can't take it anymore. But you cursed others. Yes. If you had listened to me, all this wouldn't have been happening. I told you something. You agreed. And all of a sudden you backed out. Because you thought you would win him over. So where has this landed you to? Be quiet. An insult. And being like this. Listen, Brenda, I am ready to do anything right now. No going back at all. I mean, we need to teach that low budget princess a lesson that will shape her next life. So that she can avoid men that belong to women of power. Are you sure you're ready and willing to do this? 100%. I am willing to do anything. Anything at all. Fine then. I will give you his number. But make sure you do this yourself. I can handle it. Trust me. of this madness how dare you invade my privacy what are you doing in my house will you shut that gutter you call mouth before i cut you off your tongue hey 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 look you're not here to play you listen and do as instructed else we'll have you slaughtered before anyone could get to you and if you dare scream i mean scream huh you sit the other side of us Trust me, Zach. Would you just keep quiet, you primitive swine? Oof. What nonsense? What is this? Eh? Grace, what is this? I mean, what is this rubbish? What? So, you feel you can drag a man with the princess of this land? <laughs> you? You think you have arrived? because of the little peanuts your brother has. You're not even scared of me. What? <laughs> Excuse you? Scared of who? Look at this untamed dog, dragging a man up and down. I should be scared of you for what? I mean, why should I be scared of you? Because of these pigeons you came with? You expect me to be scared of you for what? Listen, if you don't leave this house, this means I will destroy each and every one of you. Are you mad at something? I'm dead. Are you mad? What? Chris? Are you stupid? How dare you lay your filthy and disgusting hands on me again? Are you just 
ashamed of yourself dragging man up and down with a commoner, you presume? What is wrong with you? This is your last morning. If I see you near Ferdinand again, or hear that you are around him, he's a beast out from me. Kill you and throw your body into the river and no one will notice it. Hello. Please, am I speaking with boss? Brenda gave me your number. I've got a job for you. <clears throat> What's going on here? What's going on here? I saw Mr. Ibeneme driving out and he wasn't looking happy. Here you are wearing a long face. Did you both quarrel or what? But you know that's impossible. He's my boss, so there's no way we can even quarrel. So what happened? Why was he wearing a long face? So he came in and asked me for a favor I wasn't expecting. And I told him no. Why did you deny him? He has a conference in Lagos on Wednesday. And he wants me to go with him. But I told him I can't go. He understands. Oh my goodness. You refuse to go with him? What are you scared of? That he might drape you or what? Tell me, did I say that to you? He even said that I will have my own suite in the hotel. So this thing you're thinking is not even in the picture at all. Why then did you decline? This is an opportunity most girls are looking for. Why turn it down? My sister called and said she's coming to visit me. That would be so irresponsible of me to travel all the way to Lagos with a man when my sister is coming to visit me. Please, Chamaka, hold your peace. I don't want all this stuff right now. He understands me. That's it. In all honesty, Brenda, I'm not even sure if you to have seen how two grown-up ladies were shamelessly fighting over a man who is not even interested in them. <laughs> Anyways, I've decided that I will tell my boss to disengage from both of them permanently. Maybe they will reinvent their sanity when that happens. <laughs> oh. Babes, please, just find time and come and stay with me. Why? This whole place is boring. Anyways, I'm not complaining. The pay is good. <laughs> All right, darling. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Dineka, you are such a terrible liar. I just spoke with your sister now, and she confirmed she never called you, and she has no plans of visiting. I understand your business. Listen, you are traveling with him. Or I will just go ahead and call him now and tell him you are lying. Oh, you dare not. Don't try it. What exactly is wrong with you? What has come over you? Is it that you don't like good things? Or, 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 or there is something you are not telling me? I have told you. And you just don't want to understand it. What is wrong with you? I've told you this thing over and over again. So what is it? What? Jenica, you told me that he has not asked you out. And this is a beautiful opportunity that he would have proposed to you. And, and what did you do? Propose. You are messing everything up. Who told you that he's going to propose to me? I told you. I don't want to marry a man like that. 
I don't want to marry a man in his class and a man who is always in the news. Why can't you just understand it? Chiam, I can get it. Leave me alone. You need, ah! you need deliverance. You need serious deliverance, Gineka. Eh? I, 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 I've always known you are not normal, but this is the height of it. I have to start praying for you. What's this? You need deliverance. I don't want it on a high key. I want it on a low key, on a low. Yeah, I don't want a high life, high life. Wanna keep it cool, wanna keep it gay. Something you want so bad, maybe the same thing I detest. The same thing yeah. I detest. Everybody have their lifestyle, lifestyle. Everybody have their vision